Hey everyone, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through a simple likes and dislikes system in PHP and MySQL. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Let us start by creating a like and dislike reactions table. ID. This is the content ID, product ID, video ID, or whatever you are working with. Set as the primary key. User ID, the person who made the like-dislike reaction. Set as the primary key as well. Lastly, the reaction itself. One for like and minus one for dislike. Indexed for better query performance. With the database in place, we can now work on the PHP library. Start with an empty reactions class and object. Then, define the database settings. In the class constructor, we will create a PDO object. This way, it will automatically connect to the database when the reactions object is created. Vice versa in the destructor, we close the database connection. Now that the basic connection is in place, let us add the SQL functions. First, a helper function to run SQL queries. Then, a function to get the total number of likes and dislikes. This is done with a simple count of the reactions, grouped by the reaction itself. To add on to the convenience, we will also fetch a user's reaction if the user ID is specified. Lastly, a function to save a user's reaction. If the reaction is zero, we will remove the user's reaction from the database. Otherwise, save and replace the like or dislike. With that, the library is ready for some testing. For this demo, let us fix the user ID to 1 and assume a product ID of 900. Using the save function, let us save a like reaction.
Set to zero to remove it. Set to minus one for a dislike reaction. Then, generate more dummy entries. There are now two like and dislike entries. Using the get function, we should be able to verify this. If we provide the user ID, it should also return the user's reaction. Now that the library is ready, we will add an Ajax endpoint to process requests. Start processing only when there is a valid request. Load the PHP library. And once again, the user and product ID is fixed for this demo. Add an endpoint to get the likes and dislikes. Also, an endpoint to save a like and dislike reaction. Finally, all that's left is the HTML page itself. We will use a widget to generate the likes and dislikes button. If you want to learn more about it, links are in the description box. But for this tutorial, we will just create an empty HTML div. Then, define a demo object to hold all the mechanics. Add a helper function to do a fetch call to the PHP Ajax handler.
On window load, run an init function. Get the total number of reactions from the server. Use it to create the like-dislike button. As you can see, the button works now. But we need to send the updated reaction status to the server. So add a save function to update the server. On toggling the like dislike button, call the save function. The like-dislike button is pretty much complete, but one hiccup remains. The count is not updated when the user toggles the button. So let us change the Ajax handler a little bit. On successfully updating the reaction, we will return the updated count instead of an OK. Then in the JavaScript, we update the HTML as well. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.